Hey guys, TechRex here. So in this video, I have a drop test for you guys. Unlike anything I've ever done before, uh, we're going to be drop testing every generation iPhone. Now we're talking about the 2G, 3G, 3GS, 4, 4S, 5, 5C, 5S, 6, and 6 Plus. Now all of these devices are in near mint condition. There's no cracks, no kind of scuffs or nicks on any of the corners. All of the devices are going to be dropped twice, once on their sides. Uh, this is primarily because nine out of ten times, you know, a device is going to land on its corner. It's 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 just bound to happen. Sorry, that's my clock. But uh, the second drop is going to be the front-facing drop. Now, this is really just to test out the screen's durability, uh, which is kind of important. I don't really see the need for any other drops besides a, a good, nice, you know, side drop and a front-facing drop. So we're going to go straight from the 2G down to the 6 Plus. Very interesting to see which one will be the strongest. But let's just go straight into this, guys, and we'll find out. So first things first, we have Apple's very first iPhone 2G. So let's go straight into dropping this and see what happens. Drop test in 3, 2, 1. iPhone 2G side drop test, one minor nick on the bottom left hand corner, uh, nothing too big. I see some minor markings already, um, just on the sides in general, but phone still seems to be working perfectly fine, no cracks. Front facing drop test in 3, 2, 1. iPhone 2G did not survive the front facing drop test as you can see shatters all around the screen uh, looks like something is glitched with the volume rockers because it's uh it's it's giving me a full ringtone or, or, or a full blast but when I'm trying to scroll down here it's uh, it's going back up so we can see that something is up with this phone iPhone 3G side drop test in three two one. Just one minor nick on the lower right hand corner of the phone, uh, nothing else to affect the functionality of the device, everything working perfectly fine. Back looks uh, flawless, front looks flawless, let's go into the front facing drop. iPhone 3G front facing drop test in 3, 2, 1. Front facing drop test iPhone 3G was pretty much totaled huge shards everywhere let's move on iPhone 3GS side drop test in 3 2 1 nothing too major with the iPhone 3GS side drop test just the minor nick uh, just like the previous actually the 2G and the 3G uh, so let's go straight into the front facing drop iPhone 3GS front facing drop test in 3 2 one. So in that front facing drop test, one minor hairline crack, it's uh, hardly noticeable uh, on the very top, kind of matches with the black part of the phone, so it's, it's pretty much unnoticeable, but everything still works perfectly fine, no uh, major cracks. Of course, you had a few uh, markings on the corners, just the general scuffs that happened from the drop but other than that fully functional device iPhone 4 side drop test in 3 2 1 wow so you can see from the side drop test for the iPhone 4 uh, you got like a three major hairline crack thing going on on the back of the device. It's uh, it's fairly noticeable. This is just from a regular side drop. And then of course you have the usual kind of nicks on uh, at least this corner. So let's go into the front facing drop. iPhone 4 front facing drop test in 3, 2, 1. major cracks along the entire front side of the screen uh, that pretty much really did it kind of increased the crack line on the back as well iPhone 4s side drop test in three two one so 
See, this iPhone 4S side drop test uh, suffered pretty much nothing. I mean, no cracks. Uh, as far as the glass is made on the back, no cracks or hairlines or anything. Uh, I don't even see any markings or scuffs on any of the corners, which is kind of surprising. I c okay, I could see a few little minor, just a very minor marking, but pretty much completely flawless, just as if it were before. iPhone 4S front facing drop test in three, two, one. So the iPhone 4S is actually uh, rebooting itself or something after the front-facing drop test. Uh, I haven't seen this in any of the devices before. Um, as you can see, drop was uh, drop occurred and then Apple logo was initiated. So I'm not exactly sure what's what's going on inside of it, but um, and you can even see a few things chipping off the. Oh, okay, there we go. So it looks like it still works um, as far as I know, but in very very terrible condition but the back back survived so let's go straight into the next device so now we have the side drop test for the original iPhone 5 let's go ahead and do this in three two one so as you guys can see uh, nothing too major at all again I can't really see anything uh, significant at all uh, maybe a few little tiny scratches on this corner right here on the left, but with the white it, they, it really does blend in so it's nearly impossible to see. The back looks fine, the front looks fine. Let's go into the front facing drop. iPhone 5 front facing drop test in 3, 2, 1. So front facing drop test, iPhone 5 did crack, uh, shatters everywhere, device still works. Um, not too surprised, I mean it was a complete dead on, pretty much front facing, uh, you know, concrete hit. But, uh, you know, that it is what it is. Let's go straight into the next device. iPhone 5C side drop test, we're going to do this in 3, 2, 1. So it looks like the iPhone 5C did survive the side drop test. Looks like most of the de these devices are actually not cracking when being dropped on their sides at all. Uh, mostly it's just being the front. Uh, but let's go straight into the front facing drop test. As you can see, there's just a minor nick there. Nothing too major at all. But let's see what happens in this next drop. iPhone 5C front facing drop test. We're going to do this in 3, 2, 1. So we could see from facing drop test uh, ruined this phone as well. Uh, shatters everywhere. Uh, phone still works perfectly fine. Uh, just a brief look at the back and the sides. Uh, not too much different. Again, it's just the impact was on the front screen. So the front screen got shattered. iPhone 5S side drop test. We're going to do this in three, two, one. So the iPhone 5S uh, suffered a significant side drop. Um, you could see the entire right hand corner uh, paint is like just chipping off or whatever it is. Um, there's a lot of kind of a lot of markings just for for a corner. It's pretty bad. But again, everything still works. Uh, no worries. Uh, all the other corners look flawless. iPhone 5S front facing drop test. We're going to do this in three, two, one. iPhone 5S unfortunately uh, cracked everywhere on the front. Um, again, just like all of the previous devices so far, works perfectly fine. Uh, it's just you got the spider webs everywhere. Uh, we got that same kind of a uh, nick on that corner, but uh, besides the cracks, that's pretty much it. So finally, we have the iPhone 6. This is the side drop test. We're going to do this in three, two. One. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? iPhone 6 meant to land on its side actually landed on the front, which of course resulted in a total shatter. iPhone 6 Plus side drop test in 3, 2, 1. So the iPhone 6 Plus did survive the side drop test. 
Uh, it does kind of look like in pretty much general use condition now though. Uh, you have some markings on the on the bottom, on the corners, kind of just some scuffs here and there. Uh, nothing on the front. Everything works perfectly fine like it's brand new. Again, just looks like it's in used condition now. iPhone 6 Plus front facing drop test. We're gonna do this in three, two, one. So we can still see that uh, entire front screen is shattered. Uh, everything works smoothly, but I guess Apple hasn't really improved their glass um, on this next generation flagship device or devices. All right guys, so here's a quick overall picture of every generation iPhone dropped. And uh, I think I could com come to the conclusion that Apple hasn't really significantly changed their technology in screens. Um, you can tell right straight from the 2G or even the 3G, you, you can see how the cracks are so vibrant looking. But as you move on, they almost get a little lighter. So I guess that's some, a little sign of hope. Maybe that's just me, or maybe it depends on the drop. But it seems like the, the older phones had darker kind of cracks. And then over time, they got lighter. Uh, now the 3GS, uh, I don't know, that front-facing drop test was a little questionable. I think I could have had a better drop on it, so maybe that's why it didn't crack. Both tries. And then you had the 6, which I meant to drop sideways, but it dropped front uh, on its front. So that was a little bit of a screw-up. But considering what happened um, I feel like Apple really does uh, need to improve or at least soon maybe next year uh, with the glass with their screens as you can see even the 6 and the 6 plus I mean it's a little light but it's very similar to actually what happened it's very similar you just have those you have those uh, the damage is done but then when you kinda look back into something like this you can see it's definitely much darker Maybe not so, but at least the 3G really looks like the cracks were really bad on that one. That's for you guys. Thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more videos. You already know it. Peace out.